Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. So last week I was working on my boiler stove, this thing. You know, it's a DIY homemade homebrew thing. Anyway, I was working on it last week and the voice grips that you might be able to see on the top of it, I grabbed that and it slipped off and I was trying to lift, you know, anyway, popped myself in the eye with the voice grips, you know, and uh, I really thought I'd lost the sight in that eye, thought I'd burst it, the whole eye. So anyway, three stitches on the eyeball later and uh, some super glue and <laughs> various other things. Uh, I got out and I'm okay. So on the mend. So today I'm going to do a bit more work on that boiler stove and hopefully by the end of the day we'll get some water, hot water and lots of it out of it. Okay, here we go. So I've got my stove lit. It's getting nice and warm in here now. The stove is after getting really bright so that I know because of the colour of the flame that there's no smoke outside. Okay, so that's that. Uh, now, I need a big circle. I need to put a rim all the way around the propane bottle and I'll show you what that's for in a few minutes. Uh, but to get that, I don't actually have enough material. If I had a big kind of plate, you know, sheet of plate steel, I just put the cylinder on it, the, the propane tank on the plate, mark around it, cut a circle, and then just cut another big circle and I end up with, you know, a big ring. And that's essentially what I want to do. I need a big flat ring, but I don't have enough material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in segments with what I have and make this work and you'll see how I do that now in a minute. Here we go. So angle grinders are great at cutting straight lines, not so good at cutting circles. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my jigsaw with a metal cutting blade in it. Here we go. So the metal cutting blade, you know, only has so much life in it and to extend that life I'm just going to spray some foam. Cutting foam. So hopefully you can see this, I was burning some solid fuel down here the last time I was using the stove and uh, it's decided to go on fire, so that's okay because the fumes and the flames go straight up through the, the, the burner. Everybody asks about the smoke, okay, there you go, see for yourself, no smoke. Okay, so, and this thing, just close the door, keep the heat in. So okay, if you can hear me over this, we've got water at 100 degrees. And we've got this thing in centigrade, I don't know, 580, 600, 660, thereabouts. And the top will be a bit cooler, but it can make it hot. So look, water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. Okay, so. Here we go, look, piping hot water. Now, I'm making arcs to go around the, uh, the propane bottle. The inner arc is okay, the outer arc I have to just trim off. And I'll do that when I have it welded on. So it takes about 20 minutes for the batteries to charge. I could do it to sit down. So I'm going to sit down. Uh, I've no sandwiches, just a biscuit and a bar. So I'm going to have those. Battery will be charged. I'll finish cutting these uh, semi-circles out. And what I'll do then is I'll weld it on. And then when I have that welded, we're going to drop it in through the hole again. Not with a voice grips this time because I want to uh, survive the ordeal. And I'll put some, uh, maybe some fiberglass around it, some tech screws you know, to hold it in position, but it should really hold itself under its own weight. At that stage then I'm going to bore a hole in the bottom of the, um, the oil drum to allow a two inch pipe to go through. I'm too close to this now, it's too hot. Okay, so that's it. I can smell my trousers. <laughs> and you, maybe you can see the, the flame, it's white, you know, no smoke whatsoever outside. And absolutely a ton of heat. That's my old burner. My new burner um, works better. I can't say it's more efficient. They both run on about two liters an hour, but you can turn it up if you want more heat. You just you know dial it up. The problem is there's a range at which it doesn't smoke. If you put too much oil in and flood it, um, it'll try and burn it, but it won't burn it efficiently. So you know these things are set to burn two, three liters an hour, no smoke. Once they get hot, and uh, and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to get my tea, and then when I have that, we'll weld it on the, the propane bottle. Okay. Okay, so I'm just putting the jacket on so I can weld. It's actually very warm in here at the moment. Uh, I've cut a few of these things. The arc on the inside is good enough for the, uh, the tank, the propane tank. But on the outside, it's, it's wrong because I just kept staggering them along. So what I'll do is I'll put it on and then I'll mark around them and I'll just go around it with the jigsaw. And, um, and that'll do it. That gives me essentially a big washer around the propane tank. And that's going to work for seal for me, just so I can get it airtight. I want that when I, you know, have a fan or whatever it is, on the bottom of this thing that I can drive air in 
and it goes out the flue. It doesn't kind of come out of every kind of opening on the unit. Uh, so that's the plan. So let's see how far we get with that now this evening. So this is like a skirt, it will allow me to put that down through the hole in the oil drum and it stops it falling down into the oil drum. Also it acts as a seal because I can put screw holes through this, put a bit of fiberglass rope or even just fiberglass you know, between the two and I'll put some more weld on that and that's it, it's a perfect seal. So what's going to happen then is the, uh, the flames and the hot gases are going to travel around this. This little fella here is going to be full of water and the theory is it will get red hot. Now there's quite a bit of it sticking out above the, cylinder, above the oil drum, I know that. But uh, I could have just as easily put a smaller tank in, a um, propane tank. But um, you know, if this was insulated, it wouldn't matter. So, anyway, we'll see. is to keep everything intact. Okay, now I can let it drop at this and it can't go through. Fingers out. There you go. Now there's a couple of holes in the top of the oil drum, you know, where the filler was, so I got to do something with that. And, uh, so there's like a, uh, an expansion or something, I don't know, a little vent there on the other side. So I've sorted them out. So there you go. The propane bottle cannot go any further uh, into the oil drum. Um, it's held up by this little kind of washer or ring that I put around it. And it also gives me a great surface then to, you know, put tech screws, bolts, whatever you like, down into that and pull it down. You know, if I put some fiberglass gasket, you know, fiberglass rope or just fiberglass, whatever. Uh, under that and pull it down to it, that's it, I'll end up with a perfect seal. Uh, this is going to be open vented. The plumbing end of this is actually very easy. So that's it for now. Uh, if you haven't been here before, maybe you'd consider subscribing. If you've already subscribed, uh, thanks very much. <laughs> uh, give yourself a pat on the back for putting up with me. Okay, look, and, and thanks very much to everybody who wished me well during the week, you know, for nearly taking my eye out. Um, everything's going well, I can see perfectly out of the eye now. Um, I do have a dodgy eye, but it's the other one. <laughs> so this was my good eye I nearly took out. Look, I'm going to end it there. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for dropping by. Good luck.